Well, hello, Shoreline Church and friends of Shoreline. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. Uh, this is your devotional for July 6th. We're continuing on James chapter 5, and, and here's our theme today. Just a, a quick thought. Be patient and learn from a good farmer. Learn to be patient, and if you want some help in that, watch a good farmer. Listen to these words from James chapter 5, verses 7 to 9. Be patient then, my brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. There's a lot of thoughts here, but here's just a few insights from this brief passage. First, we're all called to be patient, and in every way in life, but particularly as we await the return of Jesus, knowing that he will come again someday, either we'll see him when this life ends or he'll return again. We don't know when he's going to return, but, but the point is, don't get anxious about that. Live each day with a patient spirit. The next thing we see is this, that his return is real. Jesus will come again. I have people periodically ask me, Pastor, when do you think Jesus will return? And I tell them exactly what the Bible says, very soon. And that's all I say. I'm not into guessing dates, speculating, because when God doesn't fill in the blanks, I don't fill in the blanks. When Jesus said very soon, it's been a couple thousand years, we also know that time is different with God, and so let's not guess and speculate, let's patiently live our lives each day knowing that when Jesus returns, we're ready to meet him face to face. There's the example of a farmer here, a good farmer, who knows the seasons and understands that you don't just throw some seed down on the ground and go, grow, grow, move it, come on, grow, doesn't work. You have to wait for the range. You have to let, let the process happen. And so we have to let God's process of leading this universe happen and trust Him along the way. But also to stand firm. Stand strong in your faith. As you await the return of Jesus, don't compromise. Live for Him with all your strength. Because the Lord's coming, we're told, is near. He, he's there knocking on the door. I don't know what that near means. I don't know what that soon means. But I believe it could be easily be within our lifetime and it could be in the lifetime of those who follow us or after them. We don't know for certain. But here's the bottom line. Check your attitude when it comes to patience. Are you captured by our I want it now culture? Or are you able to say, a good farmer is patient, God's patient with me, God's on the throne. <sighs> I'm okay, I'll be patient because Jesus will come again and one day he will make all things right. Lord Jesus, let us live each day with a deep confidence and patience, standing firm in you. Because Jesus, you will come again. You will make all things right. We trust in that. But let us live every day, ready in case you come, but prepared in case you don't, to live tomorrow as well. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we'll hope to see you at 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock uh, this Sunday at Shoreline Church, uh, online or on campus. Blessings and enjoy the rest of your holiday week.